In this video, let's learn about the simple squamous epithelium. In the surface view of the simple squamous epithelium, the cells have polygonal outlines and they interlock with those of the adjoining cells. So this is the surface view. And in the sectional view, the cells appeared flattened and their height being much less as compared to the width. So this is the surface view. This is the basement membrane. And these are the squamous epithelium. And this is the nuclei inside it. The sectional view and the surface view. The cytoplasm of these cells form only a thin layer and the nuclei produce these bulgings of the cell surface. So this is the cell and the bulging is due to the inside nuclei and the cytoplasm forms a very thin membrane. Now let's talk about the location of the simple squamous epithelium. The simple squamous epithelium lines the alveoli of the lungs it lines the free surface of the coverings that is the serous pericardium, pleura and the peritoneum. And as it covers these surfaces, it is also called as mesothelium. The simple squamous epithelium lines the inside of the heart where it is called as the endocardium. And it lines the blood vessels and the lymphatics where it is called as the endothelium. The squamous epithelium is also found in the lining of some parts of the renal tubules and in some parts of the internal ear. The function of the simple squamous epithelium is it helps in the rapid transport of substances, it helps in diffusion of gases and it helps in the filtration of the fluid. So this is the squamous epithelium, this is the lamina propria, the basement membrane and these are the squamous cells and the nuclei inside. So guys this is all about the simple squamous epithelium. If you like my video do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.